Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss multivariate linear regression algorithm with the help of a simple solved example. In the previous videos, I have discussed linear regression as well as multiple linear regression. The link for those videos is given in the description below. Linear regression finds the relationship between one independent and one dependent variable. Multiple linear regression finds the relationship between multiple independent variable and one dependent variable. In multivariate linear regression, we try to find the relationship between one independent variable and multiple number of dependent variables or the response variables in this case. This model is similar to multiple regression where we solve the normal equations and estimate the regression coefficients. Suppose the number of dependent variables or the response variables are m and the number of observations are n. The general form of multivariate linear regression is given by yi is always equal to beta 0 i plus beta 1 i x i where i is the number of response variables. So, let us take an example of this one where we have two response variables that is y1 and y2. So, i will go from 1 to 2 in this case. So, in general i will go from 1 to m where m is the number of response variables and beta 0 i and beta 1 i are the regression coefficients of ith dependent or the response variable here. Now, the question comes in front of us is how to calculate these coefficients that is beta 0 i and beta 1 i here because we have two response variables that is y1 and y2. So, first we will put i is equal to 1, we will get one equation here that is y1 is equal to beta 0 1 plus beta 1 1 x 0 here and uh, I will put i is equal to 2 here, y2 is equal to beta 0 2 plus beta 1 2 x 0. I have taken x 0 here because the independent variable is x 0 in this case. Now, the question comes in front of us is how to calculate these uh, coefficients that is beta 0 1, beta 0 2, beta 1 1 and beta 1 2. So, first we will put all these uh, coefficients into one uh, matrix that is beta is equal to uh, all those four uh, coefficients here. Now, we need to find this matrix. To find this matrix, so we use this equation in uh, multivariate linear regression as well as in uh, multiple linear regression. Beta is always equal to, first we need to take the x transpose and then we need to multiply it to x here and whatever the resulting matrix we will get, we need to take the inverse. The resulting matrix should be multiplied to x transpose and the whole resulting matrix should be multiplied to y here. So, once you perform all these uh, matrix multiplication, you will get beta that is nothing but the regression coefficients in this case. Now, the question comes in front of us is uh, what is x and what is y here? Now, uh, in this case, uh, you can notice this equation. If you look at this equation on the right hand side, we have beta 0 1 and beta 1 1. Similarly, in the second equation, we have beta 0 2 and beta 1 2 here. The coefficients of uh, beta 0 1 and beta 1 1 are 1 and x 0 respectively. Similarly, for the second equation, the coefficients are 1 and x0 respectively here. So, x is always equal to the coefficient of beta 0 1 or beta 0 2. What is the coefficient here? 1. So, we will write 1 everywhere. And the coefficient of beta 1 1 or beta 1 2 is x0 here. So, we will write the values of x0 that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 that is what I have written here. So, this is how we construct the x matrix here. Now, we need to construct this y matrix. y matrix is nothing but what? On the left hand side, we have y1 and y2 here. There are two variables. And we know the values of y1 and y2 that is given in the problem definition. So, y is equal to whatever the values given for y1 and y2 is written over here. Now, we got uh, the matrix x and y here. Once you get the matrix x and y, next uh, we need to uh, calculate or we need to find the x uh, transpose here. x transpose is nothing but what? the rows will be converted into column. So, once you convert rows into column, x transpose is always equal to this uh, row, 1, 0 will become the column here, 1, 1 will become the second column and so on, we will get the x transpose here. Now, we got uh, all the required matrices here. Now, we need to perform the matrix multiplication. The first uh, matrix multiplication is uh, x transpose multiplied by x here. So, x transpose is available here, x is present here, we need to take the matrix multiplication. Now, if you look at uh, the dimension of uh, these matrices, the ma dimension of x transpose is uh, 2 by 5 here and uh, the dimension of x is uh, 5 by 2 in this case. 
now this 5 and this 5 will get cancelled the resulting uh, matrix will be of 2 by 2 in this case so what we need to do is uh, the row of x transpose should be multiplied to the column of uh, the x here to get the first value so if you multiply this row to this column you will get 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 here so if you add that value you will get 5 so that is what the first value in uh, this matrix multiplication now the same row is multiplied to the second column 1 into 0 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 into 2 plus 1 into 3 plus 1 into 4 here that is nothing but we will get 10 here similarly we have to multiply the second row with first column and second row with the second column we will get 10 and 30 here so this is the first uh, component of this equation that is x transpose multiplied by x here now once you get this x transpose multiplied by x we need to take the inverse of this one you can use uh, the scientific calculator to calculate the inverse of uh, this matrix or you can use any online tutorial to understand how to calculate the inverse of uh, this matrix here now once you perform the inverse of this matrix we will get 0 0.6 minus 0 0.25 minus 0 0.2 and 0 0.1 as the values here now once you get the matrix for this component the next we need to multiply the resulting matrix to x transpose the whole resulting matrix should be multiplied to y here so that is what i have performed in this case this is a simple matrix multiplication once you perform this matrix multiplication you will get 1 minus 1 2 and 1 as the values here these are nothing but the beta uh, 0 1 beta 0 2 beta 1 1 and beta 1 2 in this case now what we do is uh, we will put these values into this uh, uh, beta here uh, you will get beta is equal to 1 minus 1 2 uh, 1 in this case now once you calculate the coefficients of uh, multivariate linear regression we need to put these values in these two equations so that you will get the final equations here so first i will consider this equation that is y1 is equal to beta 0 1 beta 1 1 x 0 we know the values of uh, these coefficients uh, beta 0 1 is equal to 1 here beta 1 1 is equal to 2 once you put these two values y1 will become 1 plus uh, 2 x0 here i have taken x0 because uh, the independent variable is written as x0 in this case now i will consider the second one that is y2 is equal to beta 0 2 beta 1 2 x2 x0 again uh, we know the values here beta 0 2 is equal to minus 1 beta 1 2 is equal to plus 1 here once you put these values y2 will become minus 1 plus x0 in this case so this is how we can find the multivariate linear regression equation for multiple number of dependent variables and one independent variable in this case i hope the concept of multivariate linear regression is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching